Today, I can't believe it. I pretty much have unlimited access to the Project Exodus construction site. site, site. Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jack Silkstone. Oh boy, it is an early one this morning, at least for myself. I'm not normally getting up until like midday. But today, it has just gone eight o'clock on Saturday and I'm here bright and early at Fort Park. I'm currently just parked up outside of trailers just on the other side of that fence because today is a day that will go down in Fort Park history. It's not necessarily gonna be a fun and exciting day. It's actually gonna be quite sad and emotional because today is the day that Logger's Leap is due to come down in preparation for Project Exodus to be built. So yeah, brave in the elements today. It's a very rainy day indeed, but there was no way at all I was gonna miss this. As I said, it's a Saturday, so I've had to cancel all of my weekend plans to be here today and get this um, video uploaded for you all. So yeah, gonna get a rush on and head over there. Let's do it. You can see behind me, work is currently going on, even at this bright and early time in the morning. There's no rest for the wicked. Um, but yeah, at this point, there's just someone over in the site offices over here checking if um, it's actually on the schedule today for Logger's Leap to be coming down. It should be coming down, but you always know it goes with things with construction projects and stuff. Things can always change at the last minute. And especially here at Fort Park, it's a theme park. Things are constantly changing. So I'm just praying, I've got my fingers crossed that it is today that it's gonna be happening because I'm here ready to film it all. I've got a feeling there's gonna be quite a bit of a, a waiting around today. Um, but that's fine. I've cancelled all my plans as I said, so I've got all day. <laughs> oh boy, the rain is really coming down now, but as you can see, I've got my hard hat on. Currently, they do not know if it is going to be coming down today. It's, they found something that is needed to sort out or something before they can actually go ahead and do it. But as you can see, I've obviously been given a hard hat and we've been given a lot more access to the site today, which means we can pretty much um, kind of walk wherever we are with caution, of course, um, which means I'm currently stood over by Saw the Ride. Look at that, incredible. And of course, the first lift hill for Logger's Leap. Look at that, obviously, Back when this ride was built, back in 1989, all of this was once in a tunnel. And you can see just here. However, that's obviously all gone now. And you can just see the very top of that first lift hill um, exposed. And then if we look across the lake, look at that absolutely gorgeous view of the um, final double down drop for Logger's Leap. Wow, it really is amazing, isn't it? So yeah, for the time being, um, it's not looking likely that it's going to be coming down today, but keeping spirits high, fingers crossed it does. Um, but even so, we've got a lot of access to the site today, so I'm going to be able to walk around and have a look at kind of different angles of the site. Like even being right here, we can see a beautiful view into the old Logger's Leap station and what obviously became Creek Freak Massacre. Look at that. So yeah, we're going to be able to actually go into these areas today and check them all out. So I've made my way over to the Rocky Express trains, which I've obviously been looking at so much over the past month or so from a distance. But being this up close and personal to them is a bit mad. Like we've literally got the big water tower right behind me. And then as you can see, we've got all of the trains right here. Absolutely insane. It's really quite sad to see, isn't it? But obviously, the ride had to be taken out for Project Exodus. And I've seen a few comments recently saying about how, oh, Jack definitely actually knows what's going on with like Rocky and other stuff. But genuinely from the bottom of my heart, 
I do not have a clue what's going to be happening to this ride. And I genuinely don't think at this point, the park fully know what they want to do with it. So yeah, I think it is literally just a case of waiting and seeing what happens to this iconic ride. It would be a shame to see it get scrapped. I would much rather they kind of repurpose it, or at least if they are going to get rid of it, I'd like to see them keep parts of the ride and kind of repurpose them in, in future, even if it's just like in a flower bed or for a Fright Night's Maze or something, it would definitely be cool. But yeah, it's, uh, it's certainly very cool seeing it up close and personal. Look at that. So weird. Obviously it's brought so many happy memories to so many people over the years. And yeah, this was one of the very first rides to um, can I ever be at Fort Park? So just whilst this digger right behind me has stopped working, because it's literally been constantly working in this little area, I thought I'd take my opportunity to come over to this part of Old Town that hasn't been accessible to the public since 2015, 16. Obviously when Loggers Leap um, closed in the winter of 2015, they put up a big metal fence, as I've shown in the last few updates, right along here. So you could never um, see this part of Loggers Leap anymore, which was actually, like one of my favorite areas in the park back in the day, like just standing in this area and being able to watch the boats go past it used to be so cool. So being able to once again be in this area is honestly insane. And I genuinely, I, I know how lucky I am. Like it's actually insane. And I am not taking the fact that I'm here for granted. But yeah, just being able to see this part of Loggers Leaf again. And obviously today we are able to walk down um, like the side of a trough and of course this is where that iconic photo of the royal family princess diana and her children was taken it was as the boat came round on this little section of the trough so yeah there's so much history to this ride it really is amazing and yeah just being able to see this once again is incredible and this will actually be one of the views that you get once Project Exodus is built because the Rise of Lift Hill is going to go right up in that direction there. And this um, kind of area here is going to be a nice viewing area of this lake. Like obviously the trough will be gone and you'll be able to see out over the lake and the coaster will be in this kind of direction. And there's obviously going to be a splashdown in that kind of area of the lake. But yeah, it really is amazing to see, isn't it? If I head just around here and hopefully we can get a really nice view of the um, final drop for Logger's Leap, which has obviously been hidden behind the fence for so many years, but there it is. Look at that. So you used to get some amazing photos of people as they'd come down, laughing with joy. And then you had the water guns here where you could like splash people as they came around on this corner. Wow, it really is quite emotional seeing it, seeing it in its final days. As I said, I'm not taking this for granted at all. I know how incredible of, of an opportunity it is to see it as it currently is. Even just stepping over here, it feels so weird. You can see they've obviously started chopping down some of these trees um, as they continue working on this area. Very cool indeed though. I'm gonna head down the old Platform 15 route now actually um, to go and see if we can get anything from like the back, see anything of loggers. So I was about to head just down platform 15, um, just the other side of this fence. And I thought, you know what? Why not head down the other side of this metal fence and look up at this incredible drop up close. It really is insane seeing it from down here. Obviously this is the view you would have got back in the day when you rode the uh, Canada Creek Railway just along this kind of um, route and you'd look up and see Logger's Leap. There it is, absolutely incredible. Um, and yeah, obviously these pipes here is where all of the water um, would have gone back in the day, taking it right to the top of the drop. Wow, absolutely insane. It's so weird seeing it up close and personal. Let me touch it one last time. There you go. So we just got some intel um, about the um, timings for today. It's looking 
pretty much impossible that Loggers Leaf itself is going to be coming down today. However, they said the um, station, uh, what, what is obviously now Creek Creek Massacre, might be happening today. So I eventually made my way down the um, Platform 15 route, just next to Monk's Walk. And look at this incredible view of the old um, train storage area. It's now obviously completely empty because if you've been watching these videos, you'll know that they completely removed the trains um, from here. And yeah, now we've just got this huge um, empty building sitting right on the outskirts of Old Town. Oh, look at that, you can literally see all the way down to like actual Old Town. Yeah, you've got all of the uh, sleepers still down where the trains all used to be. Back in the day, you used to literally have trains filling up this entire space. Like you saw how long those trains are. They're currently still just um, right down by Fort Farm. Like they are long. So yeah, it's obviously a huge building where they obviously used to store them all. This is generally one of my favorite areas in the park. It's so cool with all of these rocks down here. And I mean, obviously since Platform 15 closed um, at the end of not last Friday nights, but the Friday nights before that, um, the entire area has now been destroyed. And we've now just got a load of debris, obviously where you used to walk down, I think Screech Fry Village, it was called in the end. Um, but yeah, in terms of Exodus, it won't technically come right into this little canyon area. However, just up here is where that insane turnaround section of the ride will be, which uh, I have to say is probably one of my most anticipated moments of this ride. Like that element is insane. So yeah, that's literally gonna be right up there um, once the ride is built. But yeah, certainly a cool area of the park. And once again, this is where the Canada Creek Railway once ran past these beautiful rocks and then after that, obviously, Platform 15 was built. And uh, here it all is today. A lot of Fright Night's history here. A lot of people have been very scared walking down this path over the past few years. And I think I'm gonna have to head up a little side route. So here at Creek Creek Massacre and obviously Loggers Leap's old station, as you can see, it is now completely empty. Now, unfortunately, it's not looking likely at all that this is gonna be coming down today. However, it should be happening very, very soon. So I'm gonna hold off actually going in there and showing you guys in this video. However, in the next Project Exodus construction update that I do film, um, I should be able to show you everything inside here and i also filmed a few bits in november where i kind of showed them taking out all of the theming in there so yeah the next video that you see should have loads of really cool kind of archive content of this building but yeah for now i'll just show you the exterior it is absolutely bizarre seeing in there Back in the car where I started today's update, as you can see, I'm a little bit muddy to say the least. Unfortunately, today hasn't gone quite to plan. Obviously, I came here with the intention that we'd um, see Logger's Leap coming down. It's not happening today. Um, however, I believe the Logger's Leap station, Creek Freak Massacre, will be coming down very soon. So 
I will hopefully be able to capture that for you guys. Um, and there's also a load of other exciting things that sound like they might be happening within literally the next few weeks. So um, keep your eye on the channel um, for regular Project Exodus updates. But today definitely hasn't been a failure. It was worth getting out of bed for because I obviously got to pretty much look around the entire site. Like the amount of access I had today was insane. And as I keep saying, I do not take this for granted at all, guys. I, I appreciate it so much. And obviously a massive thank you to Fort Park for allowing me this level of access. Like it's insane. And I genuinely think Project Exodus is going to be the most documented UK coaster ever and i'm so excited to be a, a big part of that and keep showing you guys these regular updates but yeah the site is looking exciting and as i say lots to come in the coming few weeks so be sure to subscribe um to lock into the channel and be notified when all of those videos come out and yeah that's all from today's update so thank you all very much for watching my name is jack silkstone good bye